hey guys it's Daps here welcome to my youtube channel i'm excited to have you join me in this tutorial i want to show you this amazing ai that's currently trending right now it's called websim.ai this is a fantastic platform where you can literally create anything that comes to your mind as far as your mind can think about it then you can create it on websim.ai so you can just easily go to websim.ai i will leave a link to this tool in the video description and the amazing part about this tool is that currently it is free for you to use and people are already creating amazing crazy things as a matter of fact if you scroll down here you would see some of the amazing things people have created in the community you would see how people have interacted with what they have created you will see the amount of views it has gotten and the amount of likes that all of these things here have gotten and i think it's it's amazing it's it's amazing literally amazing so it's as good as come here and just write a prompt of whatever you want to create and this tool will create it for you. So for example, let's say we want to create a website uh, where people can upload images and then they can make edits to that image. Let me try and see if I can come up with a prompt for that. So now we have something called image transform.io. That's good. Uh, let's see. Let's upload our image. Let's see if we can work with this. So now, uh, this is the original image and this is the edited image. So we see, you can see here that we have a live preview. So you can see the edited one. You can see the changes here. How super amazing is this? This is cool. I think I like this. Okay. This is just super, super amazing. We can have another future. For example, we can say that we want to have uh a future where people can erase text uh, without affecting the image quality something like that really so i can just still come up here and then i can come up with this prompt let's see if it's able to add a feature to this website okay good so that's it so if you scroll down now we can see that we have a place here that says enable eraser and then we can increase the eraser size so let's bring in an image here again i don't know why there's so much space now between this and this but whatever it is uh we can enable uh eraser and then let's go here and let's see if we can erase anything i can see just that the eraser is not doing pretty much what i want it to do i'm expecting to be able to uh erase things here from the live website but i just see that i'm just able to just uh do a bunch of rubbish here so uh, that's not really giving me exactly what I want. So that's just so that this uh, tool is not perfect. It's not every of your prompt that is able to generate accurately. So you have to be very, very descriptive and you have to be very, very patient. If you try a prompt, if it's not working, uh, you can reverse this back to the original state. So you can go back to, I can come up here and click this here. And then you can see that this is the first website we generated. This is the second prompt here. So we can reverse this back to what it was before before the second prompt and then still generate another prompt for it this tool is very very explorative it's just a battle of prompt is how much of the prompt that you can come up with that determines what the result you have let's come back to the home page uh, let's end this entirely and let's just uh, try to do something entirely different again and uh, let's just say i want to create a video sharing platform like youtube Let's see what this tool is able to create. So this is exactly what this tool is able to come up with. Uh, just something close to what YouTube is, but maybe not exactly like YouTube. I love the fact that we have the option here for people to sign in and also a dark and definitely a light version. So this is exactly what it looks like for you to sign in and then you are able to upload images just like YouTube. Let's come back here but what we can do right now to improve the ui of this is to use the image function so we can come to youtube so what i can do is just snip this page good so let's come back here and then let's uh come here and then let's use the image future so while that image is uploading i can just say create the home page to look exactly like this so i believe that this tool work more when you can give it a picture of exactly what you want so let's see maybe it's able to update this uh to something a little bit more beautiful all right so this is exactly what it came back with uh it looks some way way better than what we have initially but i just don't know why everything now looks so big 
Uh, so we may need to just give you further prompt to say reduce the size of the search and also all the icons and then reduce the size of the buttons here. The more you can keep using the prompt, uh, the more you can get the best out of this tool. So, so when you are done with creating whatever you're creating, you can just easily just come down here and then copy the URL or you can just easily just download this into your computer and then that's it you have this here you can just open this up in your local machine so you can see this is opening up right now inside of my computer and i think this is amazing right so that's exactly how to use this tool to create things create website create games create, create applications uh clone anything you want to clone and the beauty about it is that it doesn't need to be anything live you can just have any crazy idea in your head of the website of somebody walking by the roadside running and jogging and asking for help whatever it is that is coming to your head you can tell this ai and is able to put life to it and i think that's quite very 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 amazing uh, so right now uh if you come to this uh tool here for example if i click on this uh, we can see here uh, this tool uses sune 3.5 but if you toggle on this you can see that you can use open ai gpt 4.0 as well even this is experimental and also some legacy models like echo sony 3 and also opus for you to be able to generate but the smartest and fastest as i said here is sony 3.5 so there's some things you can still do here so if you come here if you just come to the side here you're able to come here and set your bookmark so it means that you can bookmark things you can bookmark your creations bookmark your favorite tools here so you can see this add uh, to bookmark option here so this is literally working like a browser really inside of our browser if that makes sense really so you can see now i have a bookmark of video share so i can always come back here to edit it and do whatever i want to do with it i can also make this uh panel here permanent by just clicking this here i can create at one side and then have this uh here permanently whatever works for you really uh so you can come to your likes or whatever you have likes if you come to the community here you can scroll down the community and like whatever people are doing and then you can see them here and then you can see your history of everything you have done uh, every of the inter uh, interaction you've had on this platform at amazing amazing things here and also you can click on the icon here you can see uh, yourself you can change your avatar you can log out if you want to you can change your username to whatever you want to do i can just call myself apps yeah and then i can toggle on dark mode at least the website should be able to do that for itself i think that's beautiful right well if these are light and then you can come to settings here play around with what you want to do you want to have a default model to be sony 3.5 which i love and i think i'm going to leave it that way and then you can add the custom api keys here and then save changes that's it for this right now uh, before i end this tutorial i would just pretty much just want to show you some of the things that i have seen in the community that people have done uh, first off i've seen an amazing website here where you can just easily interact with a room and you can just play around and it's just crazy what people are coming up with here and what i love about this is not just the room the room is pretty much lame and basic but it's the fact that you can watch live tv that's crazy so now let's come to cbs news usa and let's see but, it's but you can see I can watch TV right now. I can zoom in if I want to zoom in to see the screen. And I can pretty much just come here and just toggle full screen. And you can be really young at 85. I don't know if I'm not able to capture the screen. Uh, but this is crazy. I, this is... Uh, so let's toggle this back off. But you get the idea. I was able to toggle this on initially. And I was able to get this. I'm going to just be able to come here and watch TV right now. Let's change this screen right now to France 2 for English. This is, this is this is just this is just cool really it's cool i just love how people are just playing with that's how people are just creative and coming up with a cool cool stuff so i can mute this uh while this is playing i can just uh, come back here and that tool here is called row.ai i love this again uh, this gives you the ability for you to pick a character and just have interaction with them so if you just want to chat for example uh, let's come to some of the pre-made characters they have here. This is Martin Luther King Jr. here. Let's just have a chat with Martin Luther King and let's ask uh, these guys questions.
Hey Martin, uh, he says, greeting my friend, I'm Dr. Martin Dr. King Jr. I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. How may I be of service to you today? Are there civil matters? Blah, 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 blah. Okay, let me ask this guy a question. Okay, I say, I'm saying if you were to be alive today, what would you do differently fighting for equality in the United States? Let's ask this guy a question and let's see what this guy is able to say. He says, my friend, if I were alive today, I would approach the fight for equality with the same unwavering commitment to non-violent and justice. But I would adapt our methods to address the unique challenges of the 21st century. Firstly, I would harness the power of social media, digital platforms to amplify our message and organize on a scale previously unimaginable. The internet provides an unprecedented opportunity to educate, mobilize and connect people across the nation and the world. Secondly, I would focus more on intensely on economic inequality as it has become a critical barrier to true equality i would advocate for policies that addresses economic system economic disparities including equal access to quality education health care and job opportunities thirdly i will broaden the coalition to be even more inclusive recognize the intersectionality of various forms of discrimination my goodness this is crazy this, this, in my opinion, is crazy. You can just create new chat with anybody. Let's just leave it at this. I can't come up with so many things right now. My brain is literally saturated walking around with this. Brief description, I can say, okay, so I say I am a WordPress developer with 10 years of experience. I lead a team of 10 people with an amazing, uh, I'm saying the amazing experience. But I'll leave that the way it is. Uh, creating WordPress, we have created other websites for our clients in the last two years. We offer website creation services, maintenance, optimization, and development services. We are located at the heart of London, but with clientele touching across the world. I'm not sure this English is correct, but I'm going to leave it as is, and then let's generate this website. Just like that, we have a website here. Amazing, amazing. WordPress excellence, 10 years of experience, Unreal Plus website. So you can see that uh, the more information you are able to give this tool, the more it's able to come up with amazing catch line or punch line for your website. And I think this is good. Our uh, services, so you can see uh, the same thing we told uh this so this is a portfolio is still coming up and then this is a contact form we talked about the contact form and i think that's it for our home page and i think it's a one page website so you can see our portfolio our contact and also our blog the blog is still coming up i want to believe that's loading up uh so that's it for this tool and i think this is amazing for you to be able to create a tool like this with a prompt with web sim and is able to generate something like this is quite mind mind blowing uh, before I end this tutorial, the final one here is a tool here that can help you generate AI images. This is fantastic. So I have a prompt here already that says Tales by Moonlight in an African settings where kids listen to tales from an elder all sitting on a map under the moon and stars. So right now for our image style, I said this should be realistic, uh, but you can choose whatever you want. It can be painting, sketch, 3D, whatever you want is fine, but realistic is good for me. Camera says DSLR camera here, but I can just maybe change this to film camera. I don't know what it is really. For viewpoint here, panoramic view is what I selected here. I really don't know what is best. Panoramic view is okay here. Light here, dim, soft, warm, cool, natural, whatever it is. Maybe I should make this natural. Aspect ratio, wild screen. I can just choose maybe a smartphone portrait. Number of images 10. Maybe we should reduce that to 5 really and then let's generate these images fantastic so we have our uh, images here already how super amazing is this so you can see this is super super beautiful i can just click this to see this and then i can download this into my computer and then i can open this up and see uh, this how super amazing is this the beauty about this prompt here is that the more descriptive you have in your prompt in your image prompt the better the result and that's exactly how it works so people are able to create come up with things like this so you also can do the same so you can go check out websim.ai if you're able to use this tool to come up with anything you can just uh, send it to me in the comment section i just find it very fascinating watching what people are able to come up with the amazing thoughts in people's head that's what's more fascinating to me about what this ai is able to do and that's my time for this tutorial i hope this has brought you uh, immense value if it has give me a thumbs up do not forget to 
and let me know whatever you have created in the video description i promise to check them out thank you so much for watching this video i will see you in another video until then go and test out websim and let me know your results